Not every jelly plate pull is a success. Sometimes they're moderately okay. Other times, complete failures like these. So if you'd like to know how to do this and avoid this, then carry on watching and I'll show you what happened on my experimental jelly plate play day. everyone well today I've decided that I'm going to have a play day I really don't know what's going to happen but I will continue to film and show you <laughs> the results of my play day I put this piece of paper down I've just taped it down so that when I put my jelly plate down I can put the uh, top paper on in approximately the uh, the right area each time so um, that's the only reason why this paper's down. I've chosen three colours for no other reason that uh, I can think of other than I like them. These are Art Studio and they're pastel blue, turquoise blue and pale olive. I don't know how they're going to react with each other but I do like the colours individually. I got these in the UK from a company called The Range but I'm sure you can find a similar kind of product wherever you live. I've got my Brea, I've got a Baron, uh, you don't need to have one of these, you can push it down with your hand. My problem is that I do have a problem with my hands so uh, I need the, the Baron to be able to uh, flatten things down got lots of pieces of paper and this is just ordinary copy paper. I've decided on three quite different stencils. I've never used these in conjunction with each other so that will be interesting to find out what happens. And if you're anything like me I buy these pads of um, collage paper and I think they're absolutely beautiful and I sit and look at them and then I think I don't want to use them because they're so beautiful but uh, I really have to do something with it so I've chosen these two papers I think I'm going to use this side that's just a plain one and this and I've got a um, it's got text on this one so I'm going to use these again I've just put my hand in my uh, collage pad uh, box and pulled these out for no other reason other than they were the top of the sheets so that's what I'm going to use and um, I'm going to see what happens when I use them so um, carry on watching and let's see what happens I can fit two of my jelly plates on this A4 paper so I'm just going to make a mark on it so I know approximately where they're going to lie so I don't have to use too many papers I don't like wasting paper so let's put that to one side and I'm going to use this square format one first I've decided I'm going to go with this um, and I think I will go with the darker turquoise blue. I don't know whether I've actually used this colour before but uh, we'll see what happens when I use it. Put this down as my roll off sheet. Now this paint is very very, um, see I've not used it before. This paint is really really lovely you don't need an awful lot of it that may be too much but we'll see I 
I am lifting the brayer off. Uh, it may not look like it, but uh, I really am honest. Might take a little bit more off. And I'm going to use this. on top and then try and push through as best as I can with my fingers before um, using the baron. Just trying to get into those individual little cutouts that are in the um, stencil. Put this on top. Pleasant. Quite happy with that. And you can see there that there are some residue areas that uh, could do with being wiped clean, which is what I'm doing now with a, a just a baby wipe. This was just a roll off sheet that I did before when I was just testing colours and I put this down in here approximately over the top, doesn't really matter. There we go. Good press down. I'm in the UK, I live in the UK in a, a county called Cheshire which is between Liverpool and Manchester uh, for those of you who are not aware of uh, whereabouts in the country I am but I'd love to know where you are please uh, leave a comment, tell me where you are So that's quite nice. As I say, this was just a, a part of the roll-off sheet, so uh, that can be part of the textures that I'm going for. Now, do I want to leave this on? Yeah, I probably do. Let's put a little bit of this. I've got the pale green on that one, so let's put a bit of um, this one on. This is pastel blue, but it looks like a mauve to me. Just put in a thin layer on. Nicely covered. And I'll put it on here because I've got some marks on this paper. If I line it up here over the top of this A4 paper, it gives me an idea as to where I need to place it. Not only for this top paper, but also uh, so that I don't go off camera. I have a, a terrible habit of getting so involved with what I'm doing, I don't look up to the camera to see whether or not I'm still in shot or not and as a, 
a photographer, you would think that I would be aware of that. Okay, that's quite pleasant. So, we have these two here, which I can continue to uh, put the various layers on. And this one here, which, um, yeah, it's a start. So, I shall continue and see where we go. I've decided to use this one next and um, it'll fit nicely over this rectangular jelly plate. There's still a residue of the last colour that I used but that isn't a problem. This is Pastel Blue by Art Studio. It's really, really inexpensive ho over here in the UK. Acrylic paints tend to be quite expensive here, uh, but this is um, one ninety nine, less than two pound, or two euros sixty. So wherever you are, if you uh, you may need to do your own conversion there. I do try and remember to turn this over, but again I just get too distracted and um, I forget to do it. So apologies for anybody that is screaming at the, the phone or computer, whatever you're watching it on, telling me to turn it over. Um, so I'll apologise for doing that because I know I will do it during this uh, video. Get the baron now. I absolutely love using the jelly plate. I just find it fascinating and just when you think that you have it nailed and you know exactly what you're doing, it all goes horribly wrong. And um, it doesn't turn out how you want it. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. That's really nice. I don't usually like a, a, a white background, but that is very pleasing. I'm not going to go over that, I don't think. But I will use the baby wipe just to get rid of these excess areas. It's just going to be a very delicate one, this the uh, ghost print. If you haven't seen my video um, that explains what I do with my folder with the various stencils on, I, I put little strips of paper on showing me what the stencil looks like. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave a, I will leave a link to it and that might save you some time and money and frustration <laughs> when it doesn't turn out exactly how you hoped. Um, let's go with this. This isn't lined up so I'll do my best to get it on the top there. So these are just run off sheets. Very delicate, just about see it. Nothing spectacular, but um, yeah, it's okay. 
So let's go for let's go for this paper here. I'm going to um, let's turn it into a, the same size. to go on this side now with the rectangular jelly plate. Okay. So what colour do we think would look nice with this pink colour? Um, mm -mm -mm. Let's go with the green to begin with and then uh, I can go over it with a, a different colour. on that so I'll decide to go over here as well just to uh, use up the paint instead of Oops. Put that one on there and put this one on here. We can do a twofer. Two for one. I've never used the jelly plate with these um, pads of collage papers before so I really don't know what this is going to look like. Just need to get further in there. Quite interesting. Okay. Take that out there and do the same with this. I can just cut this down so it's A3, uh, sorry, A4. Thank you. 
Just a little bit of an impression there, not much, but uh, I can go over that. Let's go over it with this um, pastel blue. I think that it had dried before I actually got the paper down. I just go for a plain sheet. That's really nice and subtle. Very nice. So, shall we go bold? Let's go bold. That will stretch both ways. Let's go with this very dark turquoisey colour. green going on there but never mind. If you've not already subscribed please I would love you to if you could and then you won't miss any of the videos that I'm making. Currently I have videos stretching through. It's actually uh, the end of May at the moment and uh, I've got them stretching into August so there's a lot there for you to have a look at and if you subscribe it means that you'll find out about them as soon as they've been uploaded. Let's try this again. Baron. As I say, if you do have any difficulties with arthritis or problems with your fingers or hands and you're not very strong pushing down, this is a, a good tool to use. Various different companies make it, so you, you'll probably find one that would suit you. That's a bit overwhelming the background, but um, not to worry. Seems to be still quite a lot left there, so I can get rid of that again. Just doing it quickly because I don't want the paint to dry too much. Go 
got this one here that I can use. Put that on there. And let's go with... Let's go with this one. Whoops. Still isn't doing very much, is it? I shall not be beaten. Let's put some um, of the colour that's just dropped on the floor. experimenting sometimes you'll be happy with results other times not so much but it's actually surprising what turns out when you're not expecting an awful lot and like I said right at the beginning this is just a play day let's pop that on there like that And hmm. let's go over that. Well, that's a total um, disaster, but I can still go over it. That's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> I know that's faint praise, but... Yeah, I quite like that. I quite like that. I like all this pattern here. Let's see what happens if I... Let's just put a little bit more of this on. on here. This seems to be opaque. Um, although on the information about the paint, it doesn't really tell you whether it's opaque or not. This is just going to uh, totally oblit obliterate this, I think, but hey-ho.
and the same with this. Well, it's just giving a kind of a thin veil over the top of it. I quite like that. It goes with the with this one here. some more green. It seems to be red. It does not have come out thick and luscious. cheat a little bit and go for this dotty pattern and let's go over this one. Sorry about that, told you I would do it. Whether you can see that or not, it's, that's quite subtle. I really like that. I really like it. Let's rub over the bits that haven't come off. And that on there. And I know this is a square going onto a rectangle, but it doesn't matter. Well, that was on too long mainly because my battery went and I had to change the battery so that's why that happened. Let's just take that off and that is absolutely horrendous too but that looks good. So yes total total failure on that one and a total total failure with this one here because it's pulled the paper so don't do what I do and let's put this on here
So, lots of darts. <laughs> An awful lot of darts. So, we have that one, which is uh, interesting. I can certainly use areas here. I uh, have this one, which I think is really quite nice. Let's just uh, eliminate. So that one is really, really quite nice. This one, on the other hand, is absolutely appalling. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, but it was an experiment, and unfortunately the experiment didn't work. However, you know, if I cut this down... I like that one. If I cut this down... That would make quite a nice border. So, not everything is lost. This one, mm, again, I could sort of chop this up into uh, little areas. Yep. I have this one, which is a total mess because I left it on whilst I was changing the battery. So that is pretty awful, but there are areas that I can use. This one will be the basis of something else. I can put more layers on that. This one here is um, okay. I think it's going to cry out for another layer maybe a transparent one because you can still see the writing underneath so that one isn't an abject failure i'm going to do something with that this one here um again is going to be the basis this was just a roll off sheet again i can use that one This one I love, I really like that, and this can be used. And this was the first one that I did. So, an experiment, certainly. Was it a success? Mm, I don't know. It was successful in the the point of, to the point of playing with my jelly plate, enjoying it and coming up with some different papers. Um, am I going to use all of them? Probably not. But I really enjoyed it. And that's the whole thing about being creative and using your jelly plate. It's just a joy. And even though it's not hugely successful, um, I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Mm -hmm.